Howdy everyone, welcome back to another episode of Maryland's Life, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about the restaurant that I grew up in, slash bar. It was actually a bar, but we also called it a restaurant. Oh. You ready? Yep. Go ahead. What do I say? No, just hang on, just breathe some of this in. Oh. Don't put your head down. Breathe in. And then hold your breath. Well, you can let it out. You're still breathing, though. Did you forget how to hold your breath? Well, you did pretty good. Thank you. So after you left Scranton, living in Pennsylvania. Yes. You came to New York. Right. And you owned a restaurant, which was actually a bar, but we called it the restaurant. Do you remember the name of the place? Yep. First it was called... Um, Smyrna's, and then the second time it was called Maryland's Place. Do you remember when we left? No. <laughs> we left in 1988. I, I don't know why I never marked it down. It's understandable. Here. What is that thing? Right in front of you. Now lift your head up. Take a deep breath. Okay, now hold your breath. Whenever you need a drink, your drink is right there. You feel anything? No? Okay. It's all right. <coughs> See, in the times when you cough, you might need a little something to drink to, like, kind of make your throat feel better. Was that your first job? Uh, yes. First job I ever had was buying the restaurant. How did you like it? Loved it. Yeah? I really, oh, I would miss it so bad. You wish we could have held on to it longer? Yep. You I didn't mean, have to sell it. You just did. Yeah, right. And I understand because... It was getting harder and harder on people to come to a bar situation yeah. to drink. They were getting so strict. Right. And it was, it was really, you know, unmerciful the way they were trapping them. Like with accidents. Yeah. And like that. There you go. You're getting better at it. You like the taste of this one? It's different from the last one. Here. Just breathe in. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and let it out. Girl, stop. I think this one tastes better. It's a little smoother. Do you remember some of the people that used to come to the bar? Yeah. Like who? 
there was um oh I gotta there take a drink even though marijuana is healthy and it's healthy for you right now smoke is a little rough on the body to inhale we're gonna try and get you some other forms of it like we'll try some edibles, but we need to watch what ingredients go into it. So it'll take a while. Now I got to start those plants over again, a new set of plants, because those ones didn't make it. Oh. They did well for a little I bit. I don't know. You know. It's my, dark in here. My plants used to do great. Right. And all of a sudden. Everyone I've gotten has died. Well, the world did shift a little bit several years ago, and it changed a lot. Oh. Airports had to move their landing strips up, you know, the markers. Yeah. They had to adjust everything. Oh. No big deal. It used to come directly into my bedroom window, yeah. and it was blinding. I couldn't stand it. And it would get like an oven inside there. You can melt plastic in the bedroom from the heat. Oh. And then once they had that tsunami and everything changed, it altered a little bit. The sun didn't come in the bedroom like it did before. So in a matter of just one day, it was all different. Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> Can you hear my girls? <laughs> I love my girls. Here, go ahead and breathe. Where's the thing? Uh, I'll do it. Don't worry. Don't stick your tongue out. So can you think of the names of some of the people? Um, all I can think of right now is my insurance man, and he has nothing to do with it. Um, do you remember Ken Jones? Oh, yeah. Von and, Fargo? Yep. Yep, and there was like George Lathrop and George Blood and all of them people. And then wasn't it George Blood that had the land that is now Rogers Conservation Center? I don't know. I think it was George Blood. Either that or it was George Lathrop, but I don't think it was Lathrop. I think if I remember right, like I'm the one who would admit you, if I can remember right, it was George Blood that had a lot of land, which is that. now Rogers Conservation Center. After he died, the land went to the state. Here. I'm trying to think of some of the other people. Breathe in. Do you remember the how it looked? How the place was set up? Yep. How was that? It was set up in two parts. Well, really three, counting the kitchenette where we cooked. But uh, two eating parts and drinking parts. There was a dining room off of the kitchen. And the bar was on the other side of that. Mm-hmm. And... Same and, room. The tables and that were here. And on the other side of the wall was the bar area. And then in the back, long, there was the game room. Yeah. There was a big, long bar that Hobie Sweet Mill donated 
uh, to me no. Mm hmm. Made you a real thick, solid bar. Yep. Dudes. And that was my uncle Hobie there. that passed away. The bar was like this thick, you know. So we're talking maybe nine, ten inches somewhere in there, real thick, you know, nice and thick, right? And it, the whole length, it was all one log that he cut and stained and shellacked the fuck out of, and uh, that was our bar. That I wish we would have kept, kept. You know, I wished we would have given some of the things back, you know, because obviously you can't really take all kinds of stuff with you, I understand, but they were ours. We should have kept the the games, the jukebox, you know, we should have kept those. Where are we going to put them, though, right? But that bar, that was sick. Here. Breathe in. There you go. Can you hear my girls? Can you remember anything else? Yes. I'll never forget the story my son told me about the night that he was in the bar. And up above the bar, there was a, a big, long strip of lights. And uh, he was trying to start a fight with my son. And Who was? This man. I don't really know his name or who he was or anything, but he, he was a, a young guy that came in there and he tried to start a fight with my son. And he said all of a sudden he was on the floor. But he said my son was the fastest thing he ever saw. He said, well, why, he just punched him once, and he was knocked out. And what happened when the guy went to hit my son, he jumped up and hit that light fixture, and it knocked him out. <laughs> and he was bragging after that. Uh, all the time about my son was girls the, get down. My son was the <laughs> fastest guy he ever saw. He never even saw him throw the punch. He he didn't throw a punch. He the guy hit the light fixture and knocked him out. My cats are going nuts. Like the one just jumped up and was swinging herself on the curtains. <laughs> like, hello? <laughs> oh, God bless him. What else can you remember? You remember the ghost in the attic? Uh, yes, I remember about the ghost. I really believe there was something. Because Porky Toronto, the own Toronto's restaurant in Hamilton uh -huh. and I were sitting at the bar one night after I had closed up and we were sitting there in conversation and this big breeze went through and he said boy you better block that opening wherever your tenant is must have left the door open. I said, there isn't any tenant. There isn't any door. There isn't any thing. There isn't any upstairs. It's an we attic. Don't, we don't have any tenants at all. Right. So, uh... Do you remember who the ghost was? Yeah, Porky Toronto. No, who is the ghost? That's who the ghost was. No, Bucky. 
Oh, bu oh yeah, uh, bu uh, Bucky, my former husband. How many times were you married? Five. And y'all call me a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Five yeah, times. I was engaged for the sixth. To the same person or a different one? A different one. Yeah. Who'd you buy the restaurant from? Uh, from, um, oh God, I know the name is good as I know my own. So you don't know your own name? Uh, no, um, oh gosh. Pete? Pete Marino. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And Mrs. Marino. Right. And they own that house next door. Yeah. Yep. I used to love that house. Yeah, that was beautiful. It's a shame. He used to tell me all the time when he left to die and go to heaven, he would give me the house. Oh. But that never happened, but I wanted that house, and he <laughs> knew it. And every time we'd he'd come over... Because he didn't come to town very often, but when he came to town, he told me every time he'd give me the house when he goes. Oh. There. Breathe in. What else can you remember? Um, oh, the, the best day of my life it was one day when, uh, oh, my sister-in-law, uh, uh, oh, God. I, now, I thought of her name. All the time I was thinking about this story, she was heavy set. Oh, and, that tells it. <laughs> <laughs> and she, uh, it was my husband, uh, the one was um, Bucky, Come was his last name. Come. And he pronounced it Kame for, uh, that was the... Uh, or was it Hokum? Yeah, uh, yeah, but he, uh, his real name was Come. Kume. C O M E at the end, or A at the end. And I'll, Coma? I'll sing over it. Oh. It it different. Was he Spanish? No. Oh. I don't think, no. But, um. We she, love the Spanish. She was his sister, his half sister. Yeah? And, uh, oh, God, uh, we were all up at her house, and we went and got ready and dressed, changed our things and went walking up the creek in back of her house. And it, we were walking on the stones, like up uh, along the bank, Bucky and I. And she was uh, way ahead of us. And that was, I don't know why, was the happiest day of my life. Okay. Really, really, really happy. Why are you getting emotional? I, I don't know. It's okay. And you'll see him again. I hope so. 
five. <laughs> Do you see all of them? What? The husbands. Do I see them all? No, I don't mean you. I mean well, I. I imagine you might. Do you want to? Uh, particularly, not particularly with most of them, but uh, I would like to see my first husband and Bucky, and um, that's it, I guess. Yeah. You don't want to see Homer again? Uh, yeah, Homer was real good to me. He's the one that took you on the, va on the honeymoon down to Florida. Yeah. Yep. And I got my grandma wet. We were on the conga ride at Bush Gardens. She was soaked. <laughs> Do you remember going to Bush Gardens? Yep. That was a very good day. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. You'll probably see him again. Yeah, he couldn't go on the ride with me uh, because something about his condition. Right, he was in a wheelchair. Yeah. And I don't know how it is with uh, dementia and Alzheimer's um, slash, right? That uh, once you forget, maybe you won't see them on the other side. Ooh, I don't know. But hopefully... They'll also remember in her and so on. It's love. Love is the connection that bridges the gap and will bring us all together again. Here. Take a deep breath. Do you remember Heidi and Jim Moore that used to come to the restaurant? Yeah. There's another name I totally forgot. And then their daughter, Shannon, she yeah. still talks to me online. I think the little boy died. Right. There was a gas leak. Oh. If I remember right, it was a gas leak and they died and he died in the middle of the night. Um, and I remember Heidi... The the mother? Yeah. And her hair all went white. Oh. You don't remember that? Oh, it was that. Not really. Stress. I'm sorry. Rest in peace. I remember I used to always tell her, little boy, we were going on a date, he and I. Yeah, they were good people. He was the cutest little boy. Beautiful. Do you remember anybody else? Uh, or anybody else in town? Uh, yeah. Von Fargo. Right. He was a good friend. He lived uptown. Yep. And, um, Ruth, uh, that lived next door to me. At one time, she was my best friend. We had words after, and she was...